the front. And don't, don't worry, worry we're going to tell you all about it in just a minute. <laughs> but we just have to enjoy for a second how incredible this is. So, close it up for now. And then we go up to the slides and tell you some more about this incredible product. So the new next generation MacBook Pro is 0.71 inches thin. That is remarkable. Putting it next to the existing current generation MacBook Pro, you see the difference. It's a quarter thinner, but it's a dramatic amount. In fact, let me bring the MacBook Air next to it. And you see, it's about as thin as a MacBook Air. That is incredible. And it's weight. It weighs just 4.46 pounds, under 4.5 pounds. It is the lightest Pro notebook that we have ever made. Even just lighter than the 13-inch MacBook Pro today. But probably the most amazing thing about it is this gorgeous display that it's built with. It is a breakthrough in display engineering. Yes, it is a retina display. Which means the pixels, the pixels on this display are so small that from a normal working distance your retina cannot discern those individual pixels. And to use it is absolutely stunning. It's 15.4 inches across, but it's pixel density. Are you, all, are you all sitting down? This is really exciting. It is 2,880 pixels by 1,800. That's four times the number of pixels in the previous generation MacBook Pro display. Their density is 220 pixels per inch, and I know some of you are really smart out there and have already done the math. It's 5,184,000 pixels. That is the world's highest resolution notebook display. And it, yes. And it's not only amazing because of the number of pixels in it, but the quality of this display is the best we have ever made. It has higher contrast ratios, deeper blacks. It has a higher angle of view with IPS technology. And best of all, you get the benefit of the glossy display with the rich color, but we've been able to reduce the glare and reflection by up to 75%. It makes it a joy to work on. Now it ships with OS 10 line, but line has been updated to take full advantage of that retina display. So everything you do on it can look really sharp and beautiful. So the applications we include with line, for example, mail, Mail's been updated, so reading your mail is like reading fine print. It's gorgeous. Safari's been updated. Surfing the web can be like experiencing magazine print quality. And many of the applications like iMovie and iPhoto have been updated. In iPhoto, when you're looking at thumbnail photos in the events view, you, you can see a clarity and level of detail you've never seen before in the display. It's gorgeous. And not only the included applications, but we're also updating our professional applications as well to take full advantage of the retina display. We have a major update to Aperture, our professional photo application. And this, this is a breakthrough for a photographer. If you love working with photos, not only is the whole UI been updated in every element for the retina display, but you're now looking at four times the resolution of your photos as you work on them. It is absolutely a breakthrough event for photography. And Final Cut Pro 10 is being updated for it as well. And this is remarkable. Because of the density of that retina display, that video area you see up on the top right in Final Cut, that is 100% pixel for pixel 1080p HD video right here in that window. That means there are over 3 million pixels left over for your magnetic timeline, for your video bands, for your effects. And it also takes advantage of the amazing performance of this machine. You're going to be able to have up to nine simultaneous streams of ProRes video or four simultaneous streams of uncompressed video. It is incredible performance. Now, applications do have to be updated to take advantage of this retina display. If they aren't, we can pixel double them and make them the proper size, but they don't get the best effect until they do some extra work. So we've been working with some key developers to give them a look at this incredible machine and this amazing display, and they're doing some work that's phenomenal. Let me give you a couple examples. Adobe Photoshop. The, our, the great team at Adobe is doing amazing work on a version of Photoshop that will just be jaw-dropping. The resolution on that retina display is just breakthrough. So if you like working with Photoshop, 
this is going to be an amazing experience. Autodesk has worked on a new version of AutoCAD that takes advantage of the retina display. And it allows a level of detailed work and design never possible in a notebook before. And if you think it's all just hard work and no play, there are some great games being created for it as well. This is Diablo 3. I know a few of you played this game. And you're going to see a gaming experience with this resolution unlike any you have ever seen before. So all throughout, this display is a breakthrough and makes possible a next generation notebook unlike any other. Well, inside is just as amazing as that display. Everything inside this next generation MacBook Pro has been reinvented, especially to drive an incredible design and an incredible performance. Let's, Let's take, well, before, before I take the bottom off, isn't the bottom off computer prettier than anyone else's top of their computer? <laughs> well, let's take it off. So this is the inside. You're the first to see the inside of the new generation MacBook Pro. It is a stunning work of engineering. You obviously can see that the inside is dominated by a battery pack. Because to drive that retina display and all the performance you're about to hear about in something like takes tremendous work on battery technology. And luckily our engineering team understands how to do breakthrough work and asymmetric 